Hello all. It's 16.15 on Wednesday the 6th of January 2015. Wednesday the 6th of January 2015. Part B on Sparkles of Pony. I've just put on a very important blog piece. An article on Sparkles the Pony. Those taking me to court are involved in this sort of garbage. They're involved in homosexual pornography and homosexual propaganda. I'll basically state right now, pedophiles go right across the whole line of society through heterosexual people and also through the homosexual people. But the homosexual pedophiles are hidden hidden from society and they attack the Catholic Church all the time. The Catholic Church has got a couple of um, priests that have been naughty priests, yes. But nowhere near as bad as the blinking gay Mardi Gras in Sydney. The pornography shops are packed full of them. The homosexual porn shops are packed full of them. And this is what this is putting out. I will push this agenda right through to the end. Thank you very much. Just watch and wait and see what I put forward. I'll make sure that this gets worldwide known, worldwide renowned and worldwide public information. God wants the world to know that these groups are evil groups and these groups need to be put down by everyone. And it's my duty under the power of God to make sure that all people know that. And that is just what I will do. I've been taken to court, I've been a lot of other things. Well, so be it. Take me back. I don't care. I'm not worried. But I won't be stopping. This buckle to pony is a very real, very true, and very active. Yes, as I said before, yes, the Catholic Church does have pedophile priests, but so does things like the Mardi Gras, so does things like child pornography shops and homosexual porn. That's far more in depth with pedophiles than the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church has only got a few naughty priests. They need the bottom spanking by the law. These people need to be shut down and quietened down and told to, and same-sex marriage is going to bring pedophiles in Full. Men raping little boys will happen quite regularly. I will leave it at that. I'll say no more. But just read this, take note, and please know that that's right where I stand. And I will not leave this agenda alone. Thank you very much, and bye for all.